What about it? This is Robbie from Premier Lawns, Lawn Care Company based in Belfast, Northern Ireland. Today, um, in a customer's garden that we scarified before the lockdown, we didn't do any area at this one, but a lot of people have been asking me why we'll put the iron on afterwards. So I'm going to show you this lawn and then talk you through the reasons for it. So stick around. So there's some scars, places, but they'll not be long coming back. You can still see the lines from the scar fire. We scarified this two or three weeks ago, just before the lockdown. And it's starting to come back nicely. The grass is lovely and dark green from the iron that we we'll put on. And just as it starts to go away, the, the fertilizer will really start to kick in. And that's whenever we'll really start to see a lot of recovery in the lawn. So. Before we begin, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe for more content like this video and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any future content. This is a question that comes up very regularly in the comments section of my video. How to kill moss on the lawn and why do we put the iron on after we scarify and not before? In lawn care, we use a product called chelated iron and this comes in the form of iron sulfate soluble or iron for short. It comes in other forms though for my lawns this is what I use and this is what I'm going to be talking about today. Iron is a fantastic product for your lawn though like anything too much of it is a bad thing and you need to keep it away from a patio as it's stain is super hard to remove. Iron feeds the lawn. It does this by helping the grass produce chlorophyll. That's the bit that makes it green and it also has the added benefit of controlling moss. Now something that I need to make clear and to help you understand why we apply the iron on afterwards. The iron does not kill the moss. It burns it and this is the key reason to why we apply it afterwards. Due to the lockdown, I haven't done any mossy lawns yet this year. I had some planned and coded for in the works, but due to the lockdown, I've had to stop. Daniel, my helper, is currently in furlough. The recycling centres are all closed, so we can't get rid of the waste, and it's not safe to work on a two-man team. So at the minute, all the lawn renovations are stopped. I get a lot of questions asking me why we don't lift the debris between passes. Generally, this is unneeded. We use professional tools. I have an Elite 501 Scarifier and it just eats up the lawn. There are times, of course, when we will lift between passes, but this is on an ad hoc basis as and when required, depending on the lawn. This is a picture of a soil profile and it will hopefully help me explain why it is better to apply the iron afterwards to the lawn. If you put the iron on before scar fan, a lot of the time it will only burn the surface moss. This circle shows the thatch layer of the plant. And this bit is key. The moss grows in the thatch layer and the moss that is growing in the thatch layer will be unaffected if you apply the iron before scarification. If you wait until after scarification, the thatch layer will be opened up and the iron has a better chance of penetrating right the way down into the thatch layer as it will be reduced from the scarification. This is why I apply the iron afterwards as it just works better. Although there are times when you wouldn't apply the iron afterwards, for example if you were seeding the lawn, but that's a topic for another video.
Thank you to everyone that's watched. If you've enjoyed this video, if you could give me a big thumbs up, smash that like button down below, subscribe for more content like this. I'm a qualified greenkeeper with 20 years experience and I've been running Premier Lawns for the last eight years and I get to share that story with you guys. I'm always interested in trying to make videos that you, that you want to watch. So if there's anything you want to, me to cover, put a comment down below and let me know. I'm going to be doing videos very soon on fertilising and more about some more videos on Scarfan and Aaron. So make sure you stick around. Make sure you check out some of my other videos at the end of this one. And uh, listen, thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next video. Goodbye.